Welcome back to Evening Edition here on US One Radio, brought to you by the Porter Allen Company and Island ENT. Our headliner tonight is Big Pine Key resident Doug Varrier. Doug joins us live from North Carolina this evening. Good evening and uh, welcome back to the show. Good to have you back. Ezra, how are you, my friend? We're doing well down here in the Keys. Um, when are you headed back down this way? I'm back down there December 1st. I, um... I'll be back home. Yeah, I was I was reading your recent interview in the keynoter yesterday, and you indicated that you're going to make some changes uh, when you return to the Keys to the to the range in your backyard. Tell us what you're thinking. Well, I made a decision uh, that we had taken the story as far as we could possibly take it, as far as uh, the state of Florida's gun laws were concerned, and letting people know across the state of Florida not only consumers and, and, and people that are citizens, but law enforcement agencies, you know, what the law is and, and the, the ludicrous, ludicrousy of the law, not having any definitions to the words negligent and reckless and putting people in a position where they could go out in their side yards and just set up any kind of gun range they wanted without any sort of, uh, you know, uh, safety measures, backstops, berms, the whole thing. So we've taken it as far as we can, and, and uh, uh, so it's time for me to take my... My little backstop down, and I'm going to put it inside my, my workshop. But I, I probably won't use it very much because uh, one, of the, one, of my, uh, one of the contributing factors to the decision was our newest local gun shop, Outbreak Ordinance, right there in Big Pine uh, in October, will be opening up a gun range right there on Big Pine Key. I don't know if you know that. And, uh, you know, he's a smart entrepreneur. He sees a, he sees a need. And he's moving forward, and uh, so that's probably where I'll spend most of my time shooting my gun. Do, do you plan, Doug, when you return in December to, to keep your own range open an hour a week as you've been doing previously? Well, I'm going to take it out of my side yard and put it down inside my enclosed uh, basement area. And uh, how often I use it, I'm not sure. It, would be, it depends on whether or not the gun range will be open on Big Pine. If the gun range opens on Big Pine as scheduled, then I, I most likely won't use it at all. There'll be no, there'll be no need for it. There's a the, the feller is uh, putting up a nice seven-lane range. Uh, his prices are half of what the, the prices are down a Big Coppet, and he's an NRA safety instructor, and uh, that makes me feel very safe because he's going to make sure that the people that are uh, joining his club uh, all have uh, a safety course requirement, which I think is fantastic, and that makes me feel real comfortable as well. Being three or four minutes from my house, half the price, there'll be no need for my range in my side yet anymore. I've done what I need to do with it, and uh, the state of Florida knows now that there needs to be changes to the to the law. Uh, you had indicated that, that that's part of why you did what you did, was to kind of uh, shine a light on some of the inconsistencies and the vagaries uh, in Florida law. Um, you know, look, Looking back on it, Doug, do you feel like that that was the most productive way to get people's attention on this issue and, and to flag the state on what you felt were some serious issues with the law? Oh, heck yeah. If you want the horse to squeal, you got to kick it. <laughs> It's just that simple. Now, Ezra, did you get the emails I sent you? I absolutely did, yes. So then you know that from the very beginning, I was in contact with the governor's office, the attorney general's office, and with Holly Rasheen, uh, sending them uh, suggestions on uh, changes that need to be made to the current statutes to include safety measures, to include uh, dust till dawn time frames, firm requirements, backstop requirements, even minimum property size requirements. And that was all prior to the deadline of bills going into the legislature. And Holly Rasheen chose not to put any changes or any bills to change any of our gun laws in play prior to that deadline. And after you read my emails, what did you think? Well, I, I think it's interesting that, that part of your reason or your primary reason, as you indicated in the emails for doing this, was to shine a light on the issue and to, and to illuminate some of what you felt were issues and the, the vagaries of the laws, the, the lack of definition of specific terms that apply to the law. And I'll just circle back to the question I asked you a couple of moments ago. D do you think that this was the most productive way to go about doing this? Uh, obviously, there was some pushback from, from your neighbors. Do you think now that you feel like you've made your point, uh, you're either going to move your gun range uh, into your shop indoors or scrap it all together and use the gun range that's opening up in Big Pine, do you think now that this part of the issue is behind us that you're going to be able to kind of mend fences with folks in the neighborhood? Oh, I hope so. You know, a, a lot of people didn't realize we had a very specific, uh, and I say we, my, myself and, and, and Huey Gordon, had a very specific agenda. And the people that were inside the story those are folks that were our neighbors that, that uh, had the opportunity to sit and chat with us around the campfire or 
or the different reporters that we were involved with, people that were inside the story knew that we had a specific goal in mind. And that goal was to bring to light the fact that there is no definition to the word negligent and there's no definition to the word reckless. So it's up to the people across the state of Florida to make those decisions whether they're being reckless or negligent. And it's up to the law enforcement officers at a judgment call whether somebody's reckless or negligent. And that's not the way laws are supposed to be. Laws are supposed to be specific. So everybody understands the same page of music. So to answer your question, I would hope I'd be able to to mend some fences with, with the folks around my uh, my neighborhood, the three or four people that were upset with me. Uh, if not, it's not my fault. It's their fault as far as I'm concerned. You know, I'll, I'm taking my gun range down, not because you're demanding it, but because I'm done with the with the point that I was I was trying to make. You know, I, 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 one of our local charter captains today posted a uh, uh, um, a message on the uh, web page for the keynoter under that story, uh, fellow named Greg Daniels. And, he, and, he, and apparently one of his neighbors set up a, a, a shooting range next to his house. And, and, and it irritated him, and, and he blamed me for it. He said, this is your fault that he set this up. And worse than that, Doug, you know, he didn't use any safety measures to speak of. He didn't, went, didn't go anywhere with safety measures the way you did. And I wrote back and I says, Greg, you know, isn't that the point? Isn't that the whole point of what I'm trying to say? that anybody can go out and set up a gun range in their side yard and say, hey, Bubba, hold my beer while I shoot the beer cans off the fence. There needs to be some standards across the state of Florida. The law doesn't need to change. People's rights to have gun ranges don't need to go away. There just needs to be some specifics, you know, to gun ranges. Property size, I think, needs to be addressed. The size of the neighborhood, the, the dust till dawn uh, regulation, needs to be, I think there needs to be a limit on the size of the ammunition that you can fire within a certain area based on the size of the property and so on. And I continue to, to, you know, to, to, uh, to send that information, you know, to Tallahassee. Whether it'll do any good or not, I, you know, I don't know, but to specifically answer your question, would I have done it any different? No. I would not have done it every, any, any different whatsoever. Okay. You know, I, I, I wrote, I wrote to everybody up north, as George Newton pointed out in, in, in the article, you know, it would have been nice if he just wrote an article and, 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 you know, it would have gotten attention. That, that's not true. I, as you read the emails that I sent you, you can see that I was in touch with all the major power players on the specific issue, and I got nowhere. Nowhere. But but we sure got some attention by going in the side yard and shooting guns, didn't we? No question about it. The story went viral and worldwide. We are talking with Big Pine Key resident Doug Barrier tonight, live from North Carolina. He'll be back in the Keys, as he mentioned, in December. And it sounds like he's going to be dismantling or moving that uh, backyard gun range uh, indoors. Doug, many thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate you talking to us long distance. And obviously, we'll follow up with you when you're back home in the Keys. Appreciate the time this evening. You're welcome, Ezra. And to all my neighbors, if, if I upset you at all, I apologize.